Yeah. Uh, I started supporting Souths back in high school. Yeah, we just rode the wave ever since. Being here for the training session, man, it's uh, something completely different to what I'm used to. Your, your teammates and stuff like that pumping each other up. They're competing, but they're pushing each other as well, you know. They're trying to get the best out of each other. So it's, it's awesome to be around. It's, it's a good energy here. I played a bit of footy growing up, man. And, you know, I, I was honestly a bit too confident rocking up here. I was like, uh, <laughs> come here and then I'm... Like even, even playing touch with them, I was like just completely out of my depth, but you know it is what it is, I, I train a bit different to these guys. So. Sam Burgess, I used to think he was the f***ing hardest dude, you know, like even see him, oh, he's a big lad, you know, him running at me 100%, 100 miles an hour, oh s***. <laughs> Boys like Sammy Burgess, Cookie, like, man, they got that leader mentality, you know, and when they speak, the boys listen, and even to be around the coach, I just like to be a sponge and pick athletes' brains and stuff like that, so it's good. You know, fitness is fitness, you know, you fight those demons in your head and just pushing yourself up. I love that shit. If you tell me to do these laps and stuff, I'll run all day, I'll just keep pushing myself. It was more specific to what they do, you know, and, and that's why, you know, I'm at a footy session today. You know, boxing sessions are completely different. The stop start, you know, the sprinting, chasing, the like, it, it's completely different sort of fitness to uh, what I'm used to, but it, it's good. It's good to mix it up and good to come out here for a blowout. You know, training my whole life, I, I sort of look out for who's doing those little extras and who's putting in that uh, extra 1%, you know, because that's what really separates the good from great, especially on the fields and in the rings and stuff like that. So, you know, there, there was a few boys that I, uh, that I seen were making a difference and some of them were the young boys too, so it makes sense, you know, they are here trying to prove themselves, so it was good. Back in training, man, back in full throttle, um, Feels awesome, mate. Eh? When you're out for injury and stuff like that, it's, it's a, it takes a really big toll on your mind and your body. You just gotta, it's really a lot of uh, ups and downs and stuff like that, but you know, we're still here. We're training with one of the best uh, NRL teams, you know, in the country, and you know, we're keeping up with these boys, and now we go back to our, you know, boxing ring and we, we get back into it. So, you know, we're always busy. Started the chapter two, you know, the first phase was the life of becoming a world champ, and now the, the second phase is life of a world champ. You know, I'm the best cruiserweight in the world, you know, and not many people can say that. Now, now it's all about maintaining it and proving that I belong there. Well, I'm ready to put on these big fights and be a part of history, so let's do it.